Hi, I recently went to a CCRN review class and learned a handy way to remember ST elevation on a 12 lead EKG. If you'd like to make this, this might be helpful for yourself, but I used a Kleenex box and put stickers on it to help me identify each area on the EKG. So if you picture this Kleenex box as your left ventricle, we have the anterior side, the lateral side, the septal side, and of course the inferior side. So on the front of your Kleenex box you'll want to make a sticker that says ABR and B3, B4. So if you have ST elevation in either of these leads, you know that you're having an anterior STEMI. Uh, if we turn and look at the lateral side, you'll want to put a sticker that says lead 1 and ABL and B5 and B6, and you'll know that you're having a lateral ST elevation on your EKG. If we turn our left ventricle to the septal side, you'll see that you need to make a sticker that says V1 and V2, and that would indicate that you're having ST elevation in your septal um, portion of your left ventricle. And finally, you'll want to make a sticker that says 2, 3, and ABF, and that indicates that you're having an inferior MI. Also, if you're having an inferior MI, you might also consider adding and doing a right-sided 12-lead EKG, which is why I happen to have a little sticker hanging off the side here, which says V3R and V4R. If you are having uh, ST elevation in those leads on a right-sided EKG, you know that you might be having a right ventricular infarct, which is treated by fluids. Finally, if you want to get really fancy, you can think about the posterior uh, portion of the left ventricle, and that's for advanced hospitals that are now monitoring V7, V8, and V9. Okay, I hope this was helpful.